Okay, so we're checking out the Yixin E120 helicopter in this video. So we got an RC toy helicopter here. Very similar to the uh, E110 that I reviewed not too long ago, but uh, the 120 does not come with the uh, video system, the camera, and the, or the Wi-Fi FPV. And probably for a good reason. Um, while these are the same price, they had probably added this camera just because it was a pretty cheap off-the-shelf part and uh, really didn't add much to this model. Not too usable and the image quality wasn't so great. So I bet this was probably a very low-cost part to add to their system, uh, but not terribly useful. If you missed that video, I'll link that video down in the video description. It's a pretty cool dual-blade helicopter here. Uh, it flies pretty nice. The 120 uses the exact same remote controller. In fact, this is the same controller. I just, I just, uh, I tested it out. It does bind up no problem. Um, I just didn't want to take the batteries out of this one and put it into the other one because it's exactly the same and it looks like it works. This uses a smaller battery. It's a 350 milliamp hour 1S and it charges uh, via micro USB here on the side, similar to the uh, other battery on, on the 110, but it's a little bit smaller in capacity. It has a little light here on the side should show you the yeah, battery charge it's fully charged and it goes into the bottom here and again no um no you know fpv system on this one just line of sight flying four blade here and on this one here um and a rear rotor in the back brushed motors of course at this price point that's about what you can expect you do have a light here in the front and in the back, red one in the back and a white one in the front. Got your landing feet. The battery slides in to the bottom like this and it just snaps right in. It does have optical flow as well like the uh, E110, but uh, I don't expect it to work. Uh, it didn't work on the 110, but if you look at the uh, scale details on this model, pretty nice at this price point. Again, same price as the other one. I think the base is like 80 and then it's like $5 more for each extra battery you get. Um, surprising that they made this out of plastic. It's a little heavy, but it's got four blades. Not sure about the 15 minute flight time that they're advertising. We'll see. The um, 110 flew for 15 minutes, so uh, it's a smaller battery. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering how they're gonna get 15 minutes on a, heavy, a little bit heavier setup here. But yeah, I like the, uh, I like the scale details on this one. I wanted to show you this on a little bit better camera. Not sure about the uh, gold plated uh, exhaust uh, ports in the back there. I'm not sure if uh, this, I think this is a scale uh, replica of another model. I'll put up here on the screen what it is, but um, the lights back here are not, are not real. These are just uh, painted on lights. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna obviously fly a line of sight, no FPV in this one. If you um, uh, want to see an FPV conversion on one of these, either this one or the uh, 110, uh, someone was asking about that in that video. Um, I only got a couple people that are interested, so if you're one of those silent types that doesn't comment, if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, if there's more interest, I might uh, spend the time to do that because I, you know, it's uh, not. I don't think it's gonna be that super easy. You got to take it all apart there's like little screws here on the side and then you got to get inside there and find a voltage source and then uh probably modify the canopy here somewhere to stick a camera so you can look out and um these don't fly particularly that stable for fpv so it might not be that easy to fly plus you have to get the cg right and everything so yeah um i'll only do it if there's Lots of uh, people speaking up about that, but yeah, it's not, it didn't look like uh, on the 110. There was just a couple people that suggested it, but if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. Uh, if I don't hear from you, then I will assume that no one wants it. Okay, let's go see how this flies. All right, so we got a wind coming from my left here, so I'm gonna try and take it off in that direction. And it works the same way, you got three speeds. Uh, take off and landing button here. You can see I have uh, aileron and pitch control. Take off. So yeah, the wind is pretty severe. As expected. It's not uh, really holding position. I have to control it. 
Let go and it just kind of drifts off in here. It's not too bad, I bet the wind's just just really too much for it. Although really it ought to be able to, with optical flow, it really should be able to stay in one spot. Let me get closer to the ground. That's not too bad, but you gotta get really close to the ground and it's still drifting off here. Well. I just fly it around. The downwind, much faster. Upwind, not as fast. But the uh, altitude hold is not as decent. I mean, not to. I'm not managing the throttle too much, so if you. One of those pilots that has a lot of trouble managing throttle. This one's okay for that, but you do have to fly it around. And I would not recommend flying in any kind of wind. Overall, all right, for the money. And for the line of sight, this line of sight type flying, it's not too bad, but you know, I'm not a heli guy. I'm sure some of you hardcore heli guys are like, what's this? This is a toy. Well, yeah, it's a toy. <laughs> it's a toy heli. Can't do any 3D or anything fancy, you know? Oh, don't hit the car. I've attracted a butterfly. Oh, it went away. So actually, this is not as agile as the 110. I can tell it, it's obviously because it's heavier. And the wind is kind of coming and going. Okay, so by the way, I am flying it very close on purpose so you guys can see it in the camera. You see the wind just kind of hitting it. But it, you know, the gyro is stabilization is not too bad. <laughs> but yes, uh, I would normally fly it about this far away. I see it totally fine, but you guys can't see it in the camera, so that's why I'm flying it a lot closer. You guys are probably wondering about that. Oh, and I can see the lights there. Let's bring it a little closer here. So you see there's a white light there in the front. There's a red one in the back there. But this is, uh, yeah, I'm flying it a lot closer so that the camera can, can pick it up. <laughs> the wind sometimes pushes it a little bit too close to me. I just have to kind of dodge out of the way. Not a big deal. And I'm sure I'll probably get cut by the blades, but it's not going to kill me. Alright, let's do a uh, full speed throttle downwind. Oh, it's fast. Upwind. I got some speed. For you speed demons out there. Do some tornadoes here, some, <laughs> I forget what these are called. Funnels?
Yeah, this wind is a little gnarly. Man, flight time's not bad. Actually, I'm not gonna run it down the whole way because I gotta get going. On my lunch break right now. But if you want to see like a FPV camera on here, again, let me know in the comments. Right, let's bring it down in front of me here. You know, kind of low. Oh, this wind is always oh, really, really going gnarly now. Wind is gnarly. Bring it low here, bring it down. Whoa, a little bit of a bump there. Let's bring it in front of me here. And hit the landing button. You still have control over it, but it'll hit the ground and then the props will stop. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Talk to you guys later.